This video will show you a few security and privacy features that are available on your iPad. I'm going to open up my settings and go to general. And the first thing I can do is create a password lock. That way no one can use my iPad if they're not authorized to password. So I go there and you turn your passcode on. Now I can enter any password, any combination of letters and numbers here. Um, what many people do is they turn on simple passcode, which is a four digit code. That way it's secure, but still easy to use. Now it's not as secure, so if you're a, a Russian spy and you need to keep your secrets on your iPad, you might wanna um, make it more secure. Now, so I turn it on, and now I need to enter my, my code. So whatever it is, one, two, one, two. You enter it twice to make sure you know what it is, make sure you don't forget it. And then I now have my passcode. And I can determine when the passcode is required. After five minutes, meaning if I leave my iPad down for five minutes, at that five minute point, it will then require a passcode. So you can change that to 15, 5, 1, or immediately, meaning right when you click on the, um, the lock screen button, they'll have to do a password. So I do five minutes right now, but you can choose what uh, works for you. Immediately is the most secure, but it also, you'll have to enter it every time you go on your iPad. A few more options too. When it's locked, you can say, do you want Siri to be used? Or can people view the pictures from the picture frame when it's locked? I keep it on, but you can turn that off. And the final thing is, says, if someone tries to go on your iPad 10 times with the passcode and fails, it will erase everything on the iPad. Um, so if you feel like there's a lot of sensitive data on your iPad and you don't want that to happen, you can activate that. Of course, if that happened, you could... If you sync it, if it's synced up on the cloud, you can get it back. Um, I leave it off because I, I have young sons and occasionally if they get my iPad, they may miss around and do it 10 times on accident. So I don't want that erased, but you could do that as an option. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is, so I'm going to go back to general, the list of general settings. Restrictions is a, is a great one. That's um, especially if you have other people using your iPad. Now I'm going to, if I want to enable them, I can determine what apps can be used and what parts of the iPhone, I'm sorry, the iPad. You can turn off the camera, turn on or off FaceTime, Siri, rate, ratings, you can do all kinds of things there. So I have the passcode there, now I can turn stuff off, meaning that a user these can't be used unless I type in my code. And even the apps, there's apps that have ratings on them, you can identify which, which rating you want. So that's a lot of different ways to uh, to control the user experience. If it's a student or a child, then you want to make sure that they are, have appropriate items.